This is my summary of the GCSE Geography Paper 3 exam 2019 from AQA. In this video I'm going to talk to you about what you need to consider when going into the third exam for the AQA GCSE Geography 9 to 1 course. So paper 3 Geographical Applications, this is going to be on Thursday the 13th of June 2019 in the morning session. It's worth 76 marks and it's an hour and a quarter. So going into this exam you should be aware that the paper is broken into two sections. The first section concentrates on the pre-release resource booklet that was first available on Thursday the 21st of March. You should have received this from your teachers and already started to do your own independent study. Last year's paper 3 contained 9 questions on the pre-release resource, with these questions ranging from multiple choice, one markers, all the way up to a 9 marker with spag marks available. Now this year's resource is looking at tropical rainforests broken into three figures. Figure one looks at the tropical rainforest and gives you some background information on that. Figure two looks at deforestation of tropical rainforests. While figure three looks specifically at road development and the Peruvian Amazon. Now, when looking at this resource, you should think about my five top tips. The first one is make sure you know what the main key points are. Make sure you understand any data or graphs they supply you with. Um, it's really important to know where the key information is so you can find it quicker in the exam. And it's really good to start to think about forming opinions and looking at both sides of the arguments. It's really good to have for and against points for any question that might come up. Now, last thing is all this preparation will save you time in the exam. So the more time and effort you put into your preparation, the, f the easier the exam will be. Now, I have already produced my own review video in which I've summarised the main key points and provided some example questions. Make sure you click on the link above or at the end of the video to watch my breakdown of the pre-release resource booklet for 2019. It's also a really good idea to have the resource in front of you when doing this so you can make notes or highlight key points. Now, moving on to the second section of paper three, and this looks at field work. Now when looking at the fieldwork section, you should expect to see some generic fieldwork questions that give you example data or graphs that you may need to interpret, complete or speculate on how you would change the investigations in the future. These will probably be on topics that you have not studied, but you should be able to apply the main principles of fieldwork that you have learnt about during the course. You should also ensure you have reviewed all the skills that you have used throughout the geography lessons as well as your maths GCSE. I'd focus on your confidence when looking at a range of graphs and charts. You should be familiar with a broad range of these and have some understanding of how to interpret them and knowing how to complete portions would also be useful. I would also consider any of the statistical techniques you could have used in geography. Now in last year's paper there were nine questions relating to generic fieldwork theory. They ranged from one mark all the way up to four mark questions. There were two questions that required you to complete portions of a UK map and a scattergraph. Now these questions are easy to miss, so make sure you read every page carefully and respond to every question that is numbered. Now the last section focuses on your fieldwork investigations. The most important thing is you need to know the title of your investigations. At the start of each question they will ask you about either your physical or human geography fieldwork titles. You do not get specific marks for this, but you need to give your examiner context for your answer. At a recent revision conference the speaker suggested that you make your title as simple as possible. Here's a couple of examples. So for example my Year 11s last year looked at Stratford upon Avon and their title was to investigate the economic impact of tourism on Stratford upon Avon. Now this can be simply reduced to tourism in Stratford-upon-Avon. For their physical study, they completed an investigation into the impacts humans have on grassland ecosystems at Bushy Park. Now again, this can be simply summarised to grassland ecosystems at Bushy Park. This last section contained only four questions, but these were worth two, three and six marks, with the final question worth 9 plus 3 for SPAG. The command words used were explain, justify and assess. 
So these questions require you to expand on reasons for your field work. You need to be really familiar with each section of your field work for both physical and human studies so you can include as much detail as possible when responding. You need to make sure you understand each part of your investigation so you would have included an induction and done some basic research about your topic area. You would have thought about the methods used and you should be able to explain and assess each method you've used for your field work. You should have assessed the risk and you should be able to have an idea of how you manage the risk for all participants when completing field work. When looking at the results section it's important that you understand your results but also how you processed and displayed your data. Conclusions are what you actually found out and the evaluation is what you would change in the future and how would you make improvements. That summarises paper 3 geographical applications that you're going to be taking on Thursday the 13th of June 2019 in the morning session. Once again, you need to make sure you revise the correct topics that your teacher has gone through with you. Make sure you go through the paper multiple times once you've finished and ensure you complete all questions for paper three. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe for more GCSE Geography videos coming this year and good luck with your exams.